Capricorns, how are you? This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. I already have some tea leaf cards laid out here for you guys. Let's get into it, okay? So first card, of course, we're in January right now, but this is a timeless re reading. So there's something that you're dealing with here in January. Um, I feel like before the end of this month, though, it says with Tankard, there's celebration, fun, and enjoyment tree affairs with your family so some of you guys could really be spending time with your family or friends that feel like family right now um your center energy is sun so um a lot of focus on you know happiness and well-being some of you guys have had a period of time where you were sick or someone in your family was sick i feel like this is a period of healing for you and your family um some of you guys could be connected with um it's, we, it says here dark man it says dealing to a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair so they could have darker skin tone darker hair color um they could also have long hair as well um but we also have great passion here so this could be a lover or a friend or a family member either even either or i see that you guys being very happy around this person um and we have fire here it says strong emotion passionate love or hate so two cards talking about passion here for you capricorn so this is all about you guys to take time um, you know, to enjoy yourself and not just work, 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 right? Because <laughs> I know that's what you guys love to do. And then we have dog barking here. So advice from a friend. So if you're there's something that you are curious about or needing help with, there definitely will be someone around to help you. Okay, so those are just quick little messages for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get into your tarot. And please make sure if you enjoy the video that you hit the like button for me as well as subscribe. It will really help my small channel to grow and more people to see the videos. Okay, guys? So, messages for the Capricorns. Watching this video. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North. So, you guys have been through a lot. I mean, you pretty much had, um, there was a planetary stellium in Capricorn. You had so many planets, uh, you know stationary within your sign for a while so let's see what's going on for you messages for the capricorns watching this video <sighs> ten of wands yeah some of you guys are burdened right now um i feel like you guys have had a lot on your plate some of you guys feel like people would just you know consistently leave everything for you to handle um some of you feel taken advantage of by some people in your circle i'm not sure whether it's with friends family or if it's at work um, but it very well could be, you know, at work. Yeah. Or even in matters of love here, we have the full energy. It's like, you guys, you want to move from that burden energy of the 10 of wands into new energy. You want to be free. Typically the 10 of wands, you see him carrying all those wands on his back and it's weighing him down. Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys want to be free here with the full card. You have a new beginning coming in for you. Um, you also could be connecting with another Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, we have the Knight of Swords energy here. So I feel like someone wants to rush towards you, wants to have a conversation with you guys. Um, I feel like this is someone where there could have been power plays with this person in the past. I mean, look at how, you know, her hair is being controlled, right? Um, and then people watching in the background with the sword of truth here. So it's like there's someone that you guys, you want truth from. It could be someone that has had, you know, in and out behavior with you. Some of you guys could have actually felt like this person was foolish with the fool card here, right? Um, or immature is what I'm getting. All right, we have the three of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to work, because three of pentacles normally talks about, you know, collaboration or it could talk about a work setting. Um, you guys could be someone that, um, you know, you could, you know, paint, draw, you could be a writer, you could even be um, someone that is an intuitive writer I'm actually getting, um, which is really neat. You know, you receive messages as you write. So I haven't really gotten that message in a while. So very neat. If that's you, comment down below. Um, but we have the six of wands here. Yeah, you guys are walking into some type of achievement, victory. I feel this person, um, some of you guys don't want to collaborate with this person anymore because you feel like they were not appreciating you. Because um, the three of pentacles did want to come out in reverse, which talks about a lack of appreciation. Um, some of you guys definitely won't, don't want to be involved with anyone that has anyone else in the picture, right? It's like, you know your work, you know your worth, you know your value, you're stepping into this new year. You guys are coming in with new ideas. You have all this fire energy that's fueling you. 
um, you know, to move forward and make changes. You guys have been through a lot here with the nine of wands. All right. More, more energy for the Capricorns watching um, this video. What else? What's going on with this Knight of Swords? Yeah, I feel like there was someone, if you notice, you know, she's completely bare and he's partially closed. It's like there was someone that you were completely honest and straightforward with. It's like you had no intentions of playing games. This person knew exactly where you stood. And yet at the same time, you feel like this person, um, you know, was withholding truth from you or was just, you know, not meeting you. Right. Yeah. So you guys decided to move on here with the chariot card. Yeah, keep your options open with the Seven of Cups. Absolutely. I felt like someone you guys could be moving in general with the Chariot card here. Um, or you could be looking at options um, of where else to move or possibly where to, um, you know, if you're thinking about getting another vehicle. But I feel this person left you confused with the Seven of Cups. I feel like there's a lot of, you know, fantasizing within this connection. This person loves you and thinks you're beautiful and thinks you're, you know, or handsome, you know, thinks that you're, you know, witty, that you're in excellent shape, right? They feel they can be open with you. But at the same time, it's like they weren't even, they weren't ready to give you the level of connection that you were looking for right and so I feel like you guys made the better choice to you know just continue to align with your path and move forward um yeah to a new to to something new with the ace of pentacles if this is in regards to work I feel like you guys are coming through a, in a period of time where you felt like you were kind of doing the same thing over and over again or you felt as if you were not necessarily seeing the rewards for the amount of work that you were putting in, but I feel like that's about to change with the Six of Wands energy. I feel like um, you could also be in the spotlight. You could have a platform. You could have followers. Um, you could, or even so, if you're working, you know, just, you know, or, or a regular everyday job and it's not necessarily something where you're in the spotlight. I feel there's a lot of people that look up to you for your leadership um, because this technically is the emperor that's riding this chariot, right? So I feel like a lot of you guys are, you know, very stable minded people. And I feel like, you know, you, you, you deserve the best. And I feel like in the past you might've accepted this, you know, this in and out behavior, you know, but now you're coming into the energy of where you're just like, no, I want something more consistent, right? And the Ace of Pentacles is like a gift, you know, from the divine that's coming towards you, be it love or be it business. This is going to be something, this could even be money, you know what I mean? With the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be a proposal. So just take it as it resonates, but I feel it's coming after something has ended or some type of transformation has changed within you. And yeah, look, some of you guys, this definitely does have to do... <laughs> with your emperor, your divine masculine, or your, um, you know, your empress, take it how, for however it resonates. But I feel like they're also transforming, but they, their behavior towards you or whoever you were dealing with this masculine or, you know, or whatever inner or feminine energy, whoever you were dealing with caused a transformation within you that now you're going to be, um, and now you're going to be receiving karmic retribution. Please excuse my kids in the background. <laughs> So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, please hit the like button for me as well as subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.